Hi friends, welcome you all back to MSK official YouTube channel. Today we are going to see about Endeavor Retrieval process. How we are going to retrieve an element in Endeavor from production to test regions. So in this picture if you see whenever you want to if you want to make a change to an component first you have to retrieve that component or element from production into the development library i mean the pds partition data set then only you have to make the changes and then you have to test it and again you have to move it to the production so from this endeavor main page if you use the option one you can able to display the element details and uh, you have to use the option two here to retrieve the element either you can use the option two or three so the foreground option will be the easiest option to retrieve an element so we use option two and then it will be displayed or it will be taken to this screen where you can able to retrieve the element or again you can display the element or you can add or update an element so in this video we are going to see the retrieval process so we have to give option three and enter so it will go to the retrieve elements this screen so in this screen uh, endeavor screen there are a lot of things which you have to be very well aware of so if you give the environment name and you just press enter so it will display all types of elements in presence in that particular environment it can be a development environment or production environment but don't do like that since it will take huge amount of time sometimes the main frame may get hanged so in this screen we have to use the process to retrieve the elements from the production to your test region so here ccid refers to the the project id in which you are working on so you can give the your project id and then the comment you can give the what is the project name you can uh, which you are working on you can mention the project name as a comment over there in the environment there are two things from location it is from the point where you are going to retrieve the element i mean is it from the production or is it from the quality qa region or it is from sit or uat region so whatever that you have to give that so in that in our scenario i'm going to tell you about from production since anything at the starting point when you are going to make a change to one component first you have to retrieve from production so from the from location in the environment you have to give the what is the environment prod 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 it will differ as per the environment setup uh, for each project or the account so check with your endeavor admin team so it will be prod and then system and subsystem it will be up as per your project account or the type of uh, uh, healthcare or whatever the type of account you are working on it will differ so mention the system and subsystem and then the element name we have to mention over there and then the type type refers to the what type of element either it's a jcl or it is a cobol program or it is a uh, db2 element so those things you have to mention stage is nothing but the production stage number the production stage number you have to give either one or two that one you have to give it over here so that is the from location so ccid i told you have to give the project id and comment you have to give the project uh, description in short form to ispf library in the bottom part you have to mention the pds the pds partition data set where you have to retrieve that element either you can give the in a in a single line in the data set uh, column else you can mention each qualifier name i mean in the project column one qualifier and the library uh, column one qualifier and type member so like that you can split it split it split it and then also you can give it actually so that's as per your wish it's better to give the entire pds uh, uh, in the last column to other isp data set in that place under the data set you can give the, the entire pds uh, data set name partition data set name so this is this is one of the important thing the remaining the re very very important part of this retrieval element screen is the action options is one of the very very important uh, point in the uh, retrieval element option so in the retrieval element option under the action options we have four things expand includes sign out element override sign out replace member in the expand element includes if you give the option as y 
if there is any include statement inside the element which you are going to retrieve it will get expanded when you retrieve that element into the partition data set so that is the purpose of expand includes if you give n i mean no means it will not expand it will just come with the include whatever the corresponding uh, uh, component name in the, in the element which you are going to retrieve the second thing is sign out element if you want to if you are the first person or if you are going to make some major change to a or a single line change or a major change you have to sign out the element first then only you have to make the changes okay from production you have to sign out the element so you have to give the option as y okay if you give the sign out option y if you are, you are the first person to sign out that element that element will be signed out under your user id so anyone further who is who are going to try to sign out that element they will come to know that this this user id is already signed out that element for some project changes based upon the cc id and comment what you are going to mention if you give sign out element option as n then you have to give override sign out option as y if you are going to give sign out element option as n you have to give override sign out option as y otherwise you will not be able to retrieve that element if it is already retrieved or signed out by some other id okay i think you got it so whenever you are going to retrieve element from production to your development library for any project to make some changes you have to retrieve that element with sign out option as y okay in that case you can give the override sign out option as n okay if you are going to give sign out element option as n then definitely you have to give the override sign out option as y then it will override that element uh, already person over uh, retrieve that element and it will just fetch the copy of that element into your uh, partition pds library okay and then that replace member option should be y or n if that element member name is already present in the pds you have to give the replace member option as y if the element is not present in the pds where you are going to retrieve you have to give the option as n okay the list options uh, you can give display list and y and then uh, return first found as y it will just fetch from the uh, wherever the first place it's going to uh, find it and then that it will display the list actually okay list of that element actually the that is not very high very high, high, high important only the action options are very very high important in this screen actually okay the display list and return first found can be given as y in this place and we have other options like s yes, summary b browse h history and then m master c changes so those options right if you give yes in and the option and if you press enter it will display a summary what are the list of changes that has been done for that particular component then if you give the option b for that element in front before that element you can able to browse that element and see what are the changes if you want to know what are the changes that has been done for that element then you can use the option c you can able to refer to see the what are the latest changes that has been done for that particular element if you give h means it will it will show the list of history where, what are the types uh, what are what are the projects that element has been changed in the recent times those history and corresponding version will be changed so this is the very very important uh, features of retrieval element screen in the endeavor uh, ci endeavor okay so action options that expand includes sign out element override sign out replace member these four are very very important in this retrieval elements process so once you filled all the required options in this screen if you give uh, option or in front of the option column and you press enter the corresponding element will be retrieved from the the region where you are going to trying to fetch i mean in our scenario it's from production to our development partition data set pds library so there is another option called batch there we have to submit the jcl to retrieve the element from production to the corresponding pds library kindly subscribe our youtube channel to get more videos related to mainframe and endeavor please do support us thank you all catch you all soon bye